Hello everyone, I'm Arcangel and today I want to talk about a game called Witch Spring 3. I found this game on the Play Store through the Play Pass, I think. I have to say that this game is amazing. It's also available for Nintendo Switch. This game is an RPG. Graphically, it's not like the most awesome game in the world, but it's actually very good and I promise that you're going to enjoy it. As always, I'm going to tell you what I didn't like and the main thing that I didn't like is that there are a lot of actions that you have to move your hands from the sides of your cell phone to the center. And I really don't like that because you have to change your hands a lot and you have to also, you know, have your cell phone in your hands. So there are some, some things like some objects, they're picked up right away to your bag, but there are some objects that you just have to press OK so they can get added. Uh, I don't know. For me, that was weird. Also, the battle controls are in the center of the screen, which is uncomfortable, at least, you know, this is for me. But I have to say that besides this, uh, I think the game is very good. Other thing that I forgot about this game and that I don't like is that the way the stairs are made are very tricky. Sometimes I have to spend, oh uh, my goodness, several minutes just to climb some stairs. And I'm at the, uh, um, I'm at a temple, the sky temple, and for me it was very difficult just to climb to the top. I had to change from the joystick to pointing on the screen, which I don't like too much if I'm playing. But I think that needs to be fixed, okay, because those stairs are very complicated, <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe they should be wider. I don't know. I don't know. Now, in this video, I want to explain a quest. I don't remember the name, but it says like something is missing at home. That is going to appear on the diary. I was really um, stressed. I, I have to say that I was mad. I was about to put the game down because I couldn't figure it out. She was saying that something is missing at home, but I didn't notice. And it's a bunny that is besides the house. Like outside your house, there is a little bunny that is there and that is what's missing and when you get outside of your house you have to carefully go to that corner of the house and scene is going to start explaining that the bunny is missing and that is going to take you to the um, misty misty forest there you're going to find the wild boar and you're going to follow it to the bushes where you found adrian the first time so that's what you need to do there. I had to do a lot of things just to get this solved. And I remember I went to their wiki and wasn't there, which for one side is good because they don't explain you everything. But also this was very frustrating for me personally. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so I think that I said a lot of things without saying exactly what the game is about. And the game is about a witch, a Reudy. She's actually very cool. I don't know. I like her personality. It's not like historical, but it's about the persecution of witches. And I have to say that the story at the beginning maybe is, it starts a little bit soft, I will say. Yeah, but then there are some things, you know, a little bit uh, WTF that happen. But I mean, I think uh, I still think that it's pretty. Um, but story wise is very well done. I like it. And I, I don't know, for some reason, when I was playing this game, I was getting like a little bit of Golden Sun uh, vibes. No, it's not similar to Golden Sun. Maybe some things here and there just remind me of that game, but it was actually very cool and I liked it. I think, uh, maybe, it's just me, but I think that the character is kind of inspired um, on Terra, I think, from Final Fantasy III. I don't remember very much about that game, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, th that's my opinion, so maybe it's just me. But I think that, I don't know, it, it reminded me to Golden Sun. So, guys, this is about a witch and persecution and those things. And I have to say that this company, Kiwi Box, is very good. And they have um, other games. They have Witch Spring, the first, the second game. This is the third one and they also have a fourth one. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up because this game, at least for me, was like addictive. And I have other things to do, of course, and other games that I want to play. But I really recommend this and I hope that you pick it up. So I also wanted to say that the way uh, they made the characters was very well done. 
at the beginning I uh, was feeling like okay this game is good but then after I was uh, after I came across other characters I don't know for me it was it, it's very well done it feels like a real story some of my favorite characters besides Eriudi I think is Hector uh, he's a guy that he's he used to belong to the military and his brother died in the hands of the persecution because he's like half he has like witch blood in him but his brother had powers and he was um you know ended i don't know what's kind of sad his story and you just see him like for a very short period of time but i, I mean at this point i'm not sure if i'm going to see him again but it's actually very cool. There is a character that I actually hate, 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 hate. And it's not the Lord. It's actually the ancient dragon that he's just an a-hole. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really didn't like it. And as, I don't know, sometimes I feel bad when I kill some of the other monsters that they actually don't play any role in the story and they're just there for me to end them but in his case i was like okay you you just deserve to be you know to, to have your your ass kicked anyways guys um i really recommend this game i don't want to talk too much about it i just wanted to the part about the first quest uh with the bunny i just said it because it was actually was frustrating for me but i think this game is amazing and you should play it that's it guys <laughs> So guys, I have to tell you that I recorded uh, this video today. Today's Sunday. So I had to record it yesterday, but I couldn't. At 3 a.m. I still wanted to finish the Ancient Dragon. I don't know, I just wanted to do it. So um, what happened after that was that this today in the morning I was recording and when I transferred all my files to the computer, all the files were damaged. Um, I don't know. Kind of, kind of frustrating. <laughs> I don't know. Um, things that happen. So, guys, if you like this video, please give me a like. And, I don't know, have fun and have a happy Sunday. Bye.